News area on 12.590. Crone Bay, let's see that, the logo. What? What a monster. Ultra flat out there. Looks like Kelvin Fletcher's one. Just checked out the hotel now, waiting for the um, an Uber. I'm in a different hotel to Martin, so. We're going to meet there and I'm going to try and get in early because I've got a press pass. So hopefully I can get some pictures of things before it gets too crowded and you can't see it. Trams everywhere. Everywhere abroad. And Europe has block paving everywhere. It looks so expensive to put down, but I suppose it doesn't crack, does it, and freeze? In daylight, it does look amazing, that. But that's a beast. Would look cool with a chaser bin on, wouldn't it? If you look at this map here, you can see how big the show is. So I arrived 20 minutes ago, only halfway without going through any of the halls, walking to the other side of the site to go for breakfast at class. It's, it's going to take me 45 minutes just to walk across the site in a diagonal line. And you can see obviously how many halls there are. I won't even get around it, no way. Maybe you do six or eight half the halls perhaps even though i'm going to be here for three and a half days the end is in sight all 13. i think john deere are in here as well so hopefully it'll be quite quiet and i'll get some videos of the john deere and the class stand before it's mayhem like yesterday mac gone headers so i'm in the hall now i've got john deere now in front of us then classes right over there now this is one of the smaller halls. If you look on that map, I showed you before, nothing runs like a deer. That's kind of wasted when the aisles are full, but class is right down there. I've got to have a little mooch, what's going on there. Pretty mint that, ATAR. That is massive. Huge engine at the back. 6 meters, 758, same as what we had, but they've changed the wheels on the back to bigger ones. It's a good idea. Ladder's still in a daft place though. Is the uh, new sprayer that they brought out. Bigger in real life. Knowing John Deere's marketing, I bet they'll sell a lot of them. That's handy, the suction pipes on a reel. Oh, he's got it with you then. That's them discs, huge, look at them discs. Like three foot, and here's a Wardy tracked an 8RX. That's what I had a drive of at class in black, didn't I? Huge 4.9, no, 9 meter rake, it must be. This is the new Zerion 12590, but they've set it up with radars all around and cameras so it can drive autonomously. Like 9.30 with a load of mowers on. The class girls are there doing a TikTok video, I think, which I'll do in a minute, probably. I'm gonna go and have a look over here now because they've got this forage harvester. You've obviously got Bayless, similar to ours, I think. 5.3, same as ours, yeah, but that's a, you know what FC means, ours. Ours is an RC. No, it's not. RC's road to cut. That's got cutting knives in it. Maybe it's forage cut or something. That's what we had for the tractor run that time, remember? It's an absolute animal. And then this is the 50 years of the class jag chopper. Central tire inflation as well. Line tucked up nicely in the back there. That's the same ones we have on the combine. <laughs> this is the new cab on the Zerion. Now it's a class combine cab, but I've just looked at the floor mat. I like these little tubs to stop stuff rolling backwards and forwards. They're not cat litter trays, honest. Leather seat. I reckon they should put this mat in the combines. Well, mind you, I think you start a bit further back. 
That is some wide bonnet though. Got a camera on the back and the sides. GPS, got a little microphone here. <laughs> one, two, one, two. That's different to the combine. That's the same, but this armrest is different. And we've got a fridge. Two cup holders down there. One there. Two there. Plenty of space for your brew. Oil for the American market. Somewhere to put your pack of bud. And you can keep some cool as well. Not sure I like the new steps though. They could make it difficult for going down the road. Kind of stick out a lot wider than the machine. Yeah, the we're just on the glass stand at the leg racing shop, and it is here. We should have thanked them for uh, feeding us this morning, and we're just planning on the next big thing. So you know the combine run was pretty big, but we've come up with something that's going to be even bigger and better. So watch this space, and thanks to these guys for doing it. We we are at the DLG stand getting dinner and doing an interview in a minute with a Canadian lady from whatever that is. <laughs> I thought he was going to say the name of the magazine. I'm freelance. I'm with Samantha from Lucky Day Competitions. Sammy. So, Sammy. <laughs> Whatever. Um, you might have seen them raffling off different things in the past. And one of the biggest things they did was a package of tractors, machinery, diggers, trailers, all this kind of stuff. They've never done anything bigger than 300k. Who would be up for buying a raffle ticket for around £30 to win? the combine we drove from John and Groats to Land's End. Let us know in the comments to see whether we should do it. Yeah. Martin's wondering why AVR are next door to Grin, and that is because this is the potato hall. It is, it is. So, there's some serious spud equipment here. Look at that for cleaning AstroTurf. Some big self-propelled harvesters here. Some huge, Grimmy beet harvesters. The oh yeah, the Grimmy service truck. What's inside it? Morgan. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. That's what you've always wanted. Racking. We like racking. Brush for the road for James Lacey. Big rat there. Cool Unimog. This is but half the same as Bill and Joe's, I think. I think it is. It's called an Evo. He's only half the man he used to be. We've just found this. It's it's a trailed combine, but you sort of swath it first into a row. Pick up rail picks it up and then it thrashes it all and it puts it in the tank. That that's an animal. Got tracks on it. So it's obviously for going up ski resorts to bash the snow down. But a lot of people are using them on maze clamps because they're powerful. Stand next to that so you can hit them. <laughs> Look at the length of them tracks. It's nearly as long as it's her. It's like the three-seater and it? it's like a helicopter. We are now at Malone. And I was trying to work out what this is. But apparently when you fold it up, the rotors fold up, drops in that like cradle, and then they fold up. The Ted, it's like Super Ted. Remember Super Ted? In fact, in fact, that's someone. Is it who is that? Someone has a Super Ted, don't they? Is uh, that is yeah. it Lelly? Bicon could have been Bicon Super Ted. Front mounted mower. There was also Super Ted on the Teddy. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah rear ones that fold out watch which one have we got more is it like that one what, what models are is it that one is it a pro cut three meter i can't remember now look at this like absolute monster of a trailer it's got legs under there that go down four axles two of them steer outriggers a beast <laughs> now that is how you make a toolbox isn't it look at that 8 mil thick and it won't fill up with water will it but they might yeah, they he's are. like a gutter doesn't it so it doesn't go into there 
that's proper that the only thing is you know if you forgot to shut it properly you set off and it like <laughs> rip it off on a gate post it wipes out the car yeah now this is a pellet baler so there's the pellets it makes different sizes it's got water to add if it's too dry to make them form together I think it needs like three or four hundred horsepower there's Martin Martin I'm here um, it basically it's just like a baler pulls the straw in the front and then there's a mill in here which you can't really see pushes the straw through a uh, die with loads of holes in which then fills it into the hopper on the back and then that elevator on the other side empties out into trailers so it's like ultra 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 high density so you can store it in a lot smaller place and treat it like grain but then tip it out and um, use it as animal bedding but then also they're going to make it so that you can have a, a conveyor on it so you can feed it with bales of straw in the winter and bale it pellet it in the shed so there's the roller there for the dies this is the crone baler see that the logo lights up on the side how good's that it's got a sledge on the back to put them together in the field in packs of three the theme of the show is definitely autonomy so this is an autonomous tractor as well with a mower on just put your foot next to that disc Morgan for scale huge isn't it I'm on the horse stand now looking at the new avatar so they've modified it so that the tank's now bigger and you can fit more seed in it so you used to struggle to get two one ton bags of seed in the hopper or definitely barley because now that'll fit in easier the axle now doesn't go in and out it's now narrower so it follows the tractor better and you can now fit a wider tyre on it and a VF tyre to run it lower and they've put road cleaners on it as well if you need it and then you can flick them up with this hydraulic ram these are now also hydraulic so they'll lift up a bit out out the end um to be honest though we've just found out that, the, so that, that we can change the parameters on ours to make it go a bit higher but yeah the new one does look quite a bit different i like the tank on the other one being all plastic because you ever wanted to run fertilizer through it it didn't matter uh, now they've obviously all steel and then the front tank that you can put on is plastic you can also as well have that running independently with its own fan so you could use it to put avidex on or slug pellets on the surface without having to put it into the earth stream to put it into the ground this one as well because it's steel not plastic you can that's split into three already so this potentially has got four tanks on it for four different varieties of things or for segregation so you can have wheat barley a cover crop a different cover crop and use it as a mix the video is getting really long today so this is a little bit as well from last night so I'm going to have to sort of keep some of it to show you on Saturday when we're travelling home as well we've snuck back in to the case stand we haven't really we left our bags in here because they took us out for dinner thank you very much case but <laughs> what what a monster also as well filming at this time of night in this hall it's super quiet I've got a telehandler over here as well so I did not know Case did telehandlers but there you go there's a Case telehandler and then also remember the big baler we have on demo last year with the tractor that come with the Prillia colours well I think that's on the back of this there's Martin charged into the security guard yeah I think that's what we had on demo Baylor just like that 
Remember how the two-speed startups, you put it in gear, fired it up, and then it changed gear, save your clutch packs on your tractors. Oh, look at like a baby baler. Is it? It's like a, oh yeah, look at the little. We'll see if they'll start that up tomorrow to show us the knots are working. And they've obviously got a couple of combines. With a bent header. Is that a Macdon? Yeah. Macdon header. That's the rotor. So, so these are single rotor. So that's what does the threshing. These. So we used to have actual flow combines before we went to class. Very simple machine. I think they like them when they're in faraway places. Middle of Australia, middle of America, because they're so simple, there's not a lot to go wrong on them. Don't know what's going on here, but this engine looks like it's rusted a bit. Little round baler there. And then a Puma. Again, this is wrapped in the Prilly colours, but I don't think it's the one that brought the baler, because that was a bigger one. That's a 175. And there's a... Aprilia bike because they obviously sponsor Aprilia. There's a little baby one. Wow, we're in here after dark. We're having a quick mooch at the CR990 New Holland. And I think that's the same as the case bale, but yellow, but we won't mention that. But these tyres. Beast. And then there it is. That is the big New Holland combine that they're launching here. They've obviously painted it gold, black rims. Everything looks good with black rims, bar fence. I think fence should be red. Looks amazing with that paint job, doesn't it? How many foot's that? Because it looks big. It's got to be 50 foot, hasn't it? What do you reckon? Stand next to it for scale. <laughs> I thought it was a it was a hand wash station. Yeah, exactly. Mm, it is. That's a stunning colour that though, isn't it? New Holland front tank. <laughs> That's pretty cool that. Not got the lights in the mud guards like yesterday though, has it? All right, here's a quiz question for you. What is that? It's on the roof. On the roof of the tractor? Yeah. Is it not an end sensor? I think it's an end sensor. There's a quiz question as well. What's that on the roof? Smart steer. Oh, it's steering itself. It's got a weeder on the back, hasn't it? And there's Forager. What's that hybrid? Oh, it's a Steyr. Steyr hybrid with a jazzy paint job. So that's what they normally look like. And that's like the silly string variety. So you get a can of silly spirit string and spray it all over your tractor and that's what you end up with. What's with the oil pack up there? Oh, because it's hybrid. So it's cooling something. Maybe there's batteries where the hydraulic tank lives or something. I don't know. Let's see, there's a badge saying what it does. No, unless it's projected on that screen. Unkitted out for forestry. It's a bit of a monster, isn't it? Little tuk tuk. What's this header here? I can see a maze header, but what's this? Oh, that folds down, that's another maze header. Some of these have mower decks behind them. That, yeah, that's got one, hasn't it? So there's a, it, it strips the cobs and then that deck behind munches it up. So the, the corn goes through there 
and that pulls the heads off the cobs so they just go through the machine and all the rest of the stock goes underneath and gets munched this is just one haul that we're not even halfway through and there's like 30 now this is this the future so it, it started off I think very much as a prototype but it's not now there's a few of them working so you basically have these track and wheel units at either end and it spins and goes down the road and then in the field you've obviously got a combine attachment in the middle of it now but you can put a cedar deck in it I mean in fact you can see it on the on the screen now working there it is combining then driving down the road and then obviously they use it as a drill as well so I think they wanted to launch this a couple of years ago but Covid and the show was cancelled it unloads in one minute it's absolutely massive it's got two chaff spreaders so the straw comes out in two bits either side that is all for today far too long this video so uh, thanks for watching and here's Ian with the birthdays I'm brave in the weather we have Nicholas Coombs is nine Baby Charlie Fowler born on the 12th. Welcome to Baby Charlie. Ian Parker is 45. Tom Hobson is 35. Will Haston is 30. Isabel Mayeries is a seven. Finn New Holland Dolman is 10. Auntie Amy Ravel is 45. Michael Swain, happy birthday. And Nicky Waldock is 53. Nicky Waldock actually said, well done, Ollie Harrison. <laughs> well done, Ollie Harrison. You've assembled an excellent team of people that's what she's well maybe she was thinking it even if she didn't type it <laughs> 51,960 pound maybe that's what she meant i'd say some achievements as well eh? happy birthday to everyone on there and if you want to be on there go to yesterday's video and follow those excellent instructions that i gave you all and if you want a merch update it's coming. Just working on the stuff that come in over the weekend because there's loads of it. Um, I reckon Christmas has started, so if you want Christmas gifts, get it done because um, we're going to be busy. <laughs>